Hi everybody, welcome to art history for this week. Um, we are studying a new artist. So we are moving on from our study of Picasso and we are moving to Mary Cassatt. So Mary Cassatt, she was an impressionist um, and she was actually from America, which um, for most of the famous impressionists, they were mostly from France and Europe. So her being from America was kind of unusual for that time. Um, we are going to go through our flashcards really quickly and then we will jump into reading a book about Mary Cassatt and her impressionist art. So what is that one? Glue, you're right. And this is a glue bottle and that's a glue stick. Yes. And this one? Crayon. Excellent. A Pencil, good, good. Yep, oh, they are painting. But what are you when you paint? You're an artist, an artist. And we use this outside to draw on the sidewalk. Chalk, you're right. And this is kind of like Play-Doh, but it's harder to use. We have to really work it with our hands. It's called clay, good. And we store all of our artwork in these. A port, portfolio, portfolio. This one is a, oh, a sculpture. It can also be called a statue. So if you said statue, you're still right. Oh, this one, this is a fun one. This is spray paint, you're right. And how do we do spray paint? We shake it up. And then we spray it. We use these to make necklaces. Beads, excellent, excellent. And these are things that our parents have in our houses and they read them. They're kind of like newspapers, but they have colored pictures. Mag, magazines, great. And this, Oh, yes, it is fabric, you're right. But it has a fancy word in art. It's called a tex, textile, good. And these are kind of like um, if you took crayons and you mixed them with chalk. Pa, pastels, good. And this is pen and ink, right. We have these in our classrooms to paint on. An easel, easel. And we put all of our paint on here and we hold it in our hand so that we have our paint right there when we're painting. It's called a p -p palette, paint palette. All right, a paintbrush, good. Oh, paint, but it's in a bucket, a bucket of paint. And a marker, good. Oh, this is our trickiest one. A color wheel, wheel. And when we talk about the first three colors, the red, the um, yellow and blue, those are primary, right? And when we mix the primaries together, we get new colors and those are called Secondary, good. And then when we mix the secondary and the primary all together, we get even more colors and those are called tertiary, tertiary. Good. All right, so Mary Cassatt was famous for her paintings of mothers and children. Oh, how sweet. There's the baby and mama and her friend, maybe an aunt. Oh, and here's a mom at the beach with all of her kids. They're playing. And you can see in these pictures, like this color back here and these colors here. These were kind of unusual colors to use. Um, those pinks and those pastels and jewel tones. So. Um, she was kind of a revolutionary lady, this Mary Cassatt. So we are gonna read a story. It's called Mary Cassatt, Extraordinary Impressionist Painter. 
when Mary was a girl in Pennsylvania, because she was from America, she knew she'd be an artist one day. But in 1860, that's right, 1860, that was so long ago. In 1860, proper girls weren't artists. They had polite hobbies, like flower arranging, needle pointing, but not Mary. Mary grew up tall and temperamental. Temperamental means she kind of had... Um, kind of like a little temper, and she was very firm in her thoughts. Um, the map of her fate etched in her mind. Just before her 16th birthday, she charged down Chestnut Street, raring to enroll in an art school. Mary was first on the list. And you can see all these men are waiting in line too. Mary studied hard at the academy and planned her next move. She had to travel. A treasure trove of art awaited her in Paris. And her father grumbled. Out of the question, he said. But Mary held her course. So do you think she went to Paris? She did. The Louvre Museum in Paris was Mary's classroom. She copied the old masters and dreamed of seeing her art in the celebrated show the salon. Impossible, but not for Mary. Mary pressed her nose against a gallery window, absorbing pastel drawings by Edgar Degas, a riot of color. She smiled and later said, I saw art then as I wanted to see it. Edgar Degas was famous for painting dancers and you can see this is his painting there's a dancer right there mary swept jewel tones jewel tones are colors like this like deep colors across her canvas and she rendered cropped angles and sparkling light that's her painting the salon judges found her work hasty her palette too harsh. You remember how I said she was kind of revolutionary for the colors she used? That's why they didn't like it. Bah, what did they know? The great Degas, so Edgar Degas again, rapped on Mary's studio door. Join our band of independence, he proposed. We paint as we please. We break the judge's rules. Mary beamed. I began to live, she said. Mary painted what she saw. She captured glimpses of life. Her long hands flew dabbing brilliant tones and lightning bolts of white. Mary attended shows at the theater, her sketchbook in hand. She strolled through museums, her sister by her side. Mary's outspoken opinions echoed down aisles lined with exotic Asian art. See, they're at the museum looking at art. Mary's family came to live with her in Paris, and she painted her mother, her sister, reading, sewing, drinking tea. Her father might have been a better model. If only he'd stay awake. Oh no, he was sleeping all the time. He must have been really tired. Colors splashed across Mary's canvas. Canary yellow, radiant pink, vibrant blue. Pastel strokes flurried over paper, sharp and blurry, straight and zigzagged. Mary produced a multitude of prints etchings, monotypes, working with Degas and on her own. For Mary, art was life and life was art. Mary celebrated mothers and their babies in her paintings. She sought and found truth. Now her art hangs in fine museums. She proved that women can be great artists too. 
All right, and that is the end of Mary Cassatt Extraordinary Impressionist Painter. So this week we were just reading the book and learning about Mary Cassatt, but next week I would like you to bring in a picture of you as your baby with your mom or dad or maybe grandma or grandpa or your aunt. But I want a picture of you as a baby because we're going to try to draw and paint that. Okay? All right. Well, I will send a note home to your parents to remind them to bring that picture. And I will see you next week. Bye.